During the mid-20th century, lobotomy was a medical procedure performed on individuals with severe mental illnesses. One such patient was, Rosemary Kennedy, the sister of President John F. Kennedy, led a life filled with both privilege and tragedy. Born on September 13, 1918, in Brookline, Massachusetts, Rosemary was the third child of Joseph P. Kennedy Sr. and Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy. Growing up as part of the influential and wealthy Kennedy family, Rosemary's life seemed destined for success and accomplishment. However, Rosemary faced developmental challenges from an early age. She struggled with learning difficulties and behavioral issues, which caused concern for her parents. Despite these challenges, Rosemary was described as a vibrant and social individual, known for her love of outdoor activities and zest for life. As Rosemary reached young adulthood, her parents became increasingly worried about her future. In 1941, when she was 23 years old, her father, Joseph Kennedy, made the fateful decision to pursue a prefrontal lobotomy as a potential solution to Rosemary's mood swings and occasional outbursts. At the time, lobotomies were considered a legitimate treatment for various mental health conditions, although their long-term effects were not well understood. Tragically, the lobotomy performed on Rosemary went drastically wrong. The procedure resulted in severe intellectual disability and left her with impaired cognitive and emotional functioning. Rosemary lost the ability to speak intelligibly and was no longer able to care for herself independently. Her life had been irreversibly altered. In the aftermath of the failed lobotomy, Rosemary required constant care and was institutionalized for the remainder of her life. This hidden truth about Rosemary's condition was kept a closely guarded secret within the Kennedy family for many years. It was only when her sister, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, founded the Special Olympics movement in the 1960s that the public became aware of Rosemary's plight. The revelation of Rosemary's lobotomy brought attention to the controversial practice and sparked discussions about ethics and the treatment of individuals with disabilities. Her story deeply affected her brother, John F. Kennedy, who had maintained a close bond with her throughout their lives. It is believed that Rosemary's situation influenced Kennedy's later commitment to advocating for mental health and disability rights. As the years passed, Rosemary's situation served as a stark reminder of the darker side of medical intervention. Her story became a symbol of the ethical dilemmas surrounding lobotomies, which were once considered a viable treatment option but later fell out of favor due to their unpredictable and often devastating consequences. Rosemary Kennedy passed away on January 7, 2005, at the age of 86, having spent most of her life confined to institutions. Her tragic tale stands as a poignant reminder of the importance of compassionate and informed medical care, as well as the ongoing fight for the rights and well-being of individuals with disabilities.